one person in your family. It's not just it's your, your family, basically. Uh, now, your father, they seem to talk a lot about your father. Okay? Now, when your father actually died, okay? Now, your father, before he died, there seems to be a dysfunction there, or I'm not talking to him, I'm, I, I don't get on with him. There's something that he would have to apologise for. Now, he might just be apologising for the fact that you're not talking to your family now. Okay? But your father, I do think, does watch over you in a very, very strong way. There is a name, in fact, it's two names there. I mean, John's quite a popular name. But the also the name Harry or Harold seems very, very strong. Does that make sense? Does that yeah, sound? That's his name. Okay. Uh, and it just seems to me that, you know, that he's there. And he's not happy about what's taking place. Okay. And somebody has been at a grave reef. I think it might be his grave. But there's been a, a death that was a near death, but it didn't actually happen. So someone's been very, very ill, and I believe that, you know, it, it, it looked like someone was going to pass away, but it didn't. Okay? Now, I could be looking at this in a futuristic sense. So really what I'm saying to you is quite good, because you'll have a belief that someone does get very ill like that, and it does look like that. Actually, look what will turn a corner. Remember this one. There's a reason for me telling you. That. But Harry Harold, he's very, very close to you. I want you to know that he's there. Uh, I don't know why, but I want to, you know, how, how people play Crown Green Balls and stuff like that. Right? He's got these balls in his hand and a, and a jack. So, you know, you're going to bowling green, don't you? Do it. Did he do any of that? No, no, no. Fine. But he's talking about this, you see. So, obviously, he's watching over your mum who does that, you see. Okay? Now, there is going to be a loss of a job around you. It's quite, it sounds negative on the face of it. But I think there's energies around jobs around you, which basically mean that you're going to change your job. Okay? The change your job is really quite positive because it allows you to do something actually that you actually want to do. At the moment, quite a lot of boredom around you. The people that you work with, perhaps not very nice. Okay. <laughs> No, there's, there's friction, there's friction around there, but there's the opportunities around, around the world and, and maybe to do something else or to expand yourself in another area. Okay, that seems very, very strong for you as well. Can see a lot to be Florida for some reason. Okay, so I mean, there's a holiday to Florida being planned here, or maybe someone buying property in Florida or something. But Florida relates very, very strong to you in some way. Okay, uh, I'm not sure this is symbolic or not. Father gives me a white feather. Now, a white feather is a mark of peace, basically. It, I, it's when things settle down in your life and things become more, um, more peaceful. Okay, I think that is a process that's happening in your life. And if you like negative pattern and let them redirect you, that's where you'll end up in the future in a quite peaceful situation. Okay? Thanks. What's your name? Hi, my name's Beverly Collins. You've been to see Gary Dakin tonight? I have, yes. And what did he say to you? He asked me, he told me about my dad um, and how he was close to me and how I'm going to Florida next year, which nobody knows about, only the family we've spoke about it. Um, my mum does crown green bowling. Um, <laughs> how did you feel when he told you all these things? Uplifted. I do, I do like mediums and I didn't know I was going to see him but I'm, I was really pleased with him. And would you go see him again? 